Welcome to part two of me sharing my top three favorite products in every category. In part one, I did all of my favorite complexion products, my top three favorites in every category of complexion products. And in today's video, we are doing brows, eyes, and lips, which I am very excited about. I have a lot to share with you. Of course, every single one of these products is listed and I have a link to it down below in the description box. Everything is beautifully organized down there, very easy to find. So if by the end of this video you want to try any of the products I'm about to mention, please do so using the links I'm leaving you down below in the description box. Whenever you shop from my links, you are helping out my channel, which is greatly appreciated. And let's go ahead and get started with brows. My current obsession when it comes to brow gels is one that unfortunately hasn't launched, at least not at the time that I'm filming this video. And that is this one right here. This is the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel. This is like glue for your eyebrows. You can very easily comb them in place and make them look super nice and fluffy and they stay in that same exact spot until you wash it off with your makeup remover and water. It is crazy how long lasting this is and the strength of this product as well. I just love it so much and ever since I tried it, I have not been able to go back to my previous favorite, which is the one that I am talking about next and that is the Anastasia Brow Freeze right here. This has been my favorite brow gel for the past two to three years. One of my cons with the Anastasia brow gel is that you need a separate brush to use it. You need to grab this product with a spoolie and then put it on your face. And with the new Rare Beauty one, you obviously have the brush in the little container right there. I will say, I don't think that the Rare Beauty one is going to be super long lasting and the Anastasia one does last for a very long time, several months for sure, at least six to nine. And I doubt that the Rare Beauty one is going to last me more than three, but we will see, I'll keep you posted on that. So they definitely have their advantages. The brow freeze is also very long lasting and it keeps my brows in place for a long time, but I do feel like the Rare Beauty one is just a tad bit better. It's like a tad bit stronger. And I like that the packaging is a bit more simplistic to use. I don't need an extra brush to use it. So like I said, advantages to both. Um, this one of course is available. This has been out for years and I will continue to keep you posted on when the Rare Beauty one is launching. I feel like I've had it for around a month now and they just keep saying it is coming soon. So hopefully soon is actually soon because you guys need to try this brow gel. It is the most fantastic, the greatest thing ever. I love it. Next, we're talking about the products that I fill in my eyebrows with and I have two brow pencils that I absolutely love and highly recommend. One of them is this one here from Charlotte Tilbury. Well, I have more, but I only have three spots. So two of my spots are brow pencils and one of my spots is a brow pen. Anyways, this right here is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. This has a bit of like an angled small tip to it. It is thin enough to give you very natural hair-like strokes on your brows. And my absolute favorite thing about this one is the pricing of it because this is a refillable eyebrow pencil, which means that you are going to save money on it and it is a great quality pencil. The first pencil is going to be $25, but once you finish your first one, you just have to buy the replacement for this little part right here. And the replacements are $15 each, which I think is amazing savings. Plus this one has a really beautiful, luxurious packaging that I've had for now probably three years. And every single letter is still in there. Nothing has faded. It looks like it did on day one. And I've had like probably four to five refills go through it already. I love this pencil, it is fantastic, and I love that it is refillable. I think this is my most used refillable product in my collection ever, like the one that I've refilled the most is this one. The second pencil I am obsessed with is this one right here from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Something that I really like about this one is that it has an even thinner tip to it than my Anastasia one. It's like a round little 
tip right there and it doesn't break often sometimes when they have a very thin tip they break often because i have very thick brows but this one never does and it is very very pigmented the downside in comparison would be that you do have to spend 25 dollars on this one each time you use it because they don't have refills for this one like they do for the charlotte one but i absolutely love the formula the pigmentation how natural this looks it is an amazing amazing product and then my third brow filling product that i wanted to talk about is a brow pen this is my absolute most favorite brow pen I've ever had I love it it is fantastic it is so natural looking and I don't have a lot of drugstore products in my top three of every category video I just filmed my complexion one and I don't think that there was one drugstore product in there I honestly just really gravitate towards high-end makeup and I wasn't going to force anything into my top three favorites but I don't have to force this drugstore product into my favorites because there isn't a high-end brow pen that I've tried that I like more than this one. There isn't any other pen in general for my brows that I've liked more than this one. I'm talking about the NYX Cosmetics Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. I have mine in, I believe, the darkest shade. And my favorite thing about this one is that it draws teeny, tiny, beautiful-looking, natural-looking hair-like strokes so it has these really tiny beautiful hair-like strokes that look very very natural and it is such a beautiful pigmented product and i kind of love to use this one as my last step to my brow routine like right now i only have my brow gel and a brow pencil but if i were to have any gaps on my brows that i need to fill i want the gaps to be filled with something that looks like hair and so this NYX pen right here fills in the gaps to look just like hair. So of course it is the greatest and in addition to everything I just said about it, this is the only one of these I have ever had. I feel like it's never ending. I use it quite often and it hasn't even started to look like it's fading. There is so much product in here. 10 out of 10 recommend. I am done with the brow so let's move on with the eyes and I have three eyeshadow primers to share with you that I absolutely love. Eyeshadow primer number one is this one here. This is my favorite the rare beauty eyeshadow primer i don't think i had ever restocked on an eyeshadow primer before and i did restock on this one because usually i try eyeshadow primers and by the time i finish one there's something else that kind of caught my eye and so i don't think i need to like repurchase the last one i was loving i just find something else to love right not with this one. With this one, I needed to go back and buy it because it is just the best. This has a little bit of coverage to it where like it brings some brightness to the eye area. And I love that it is not a tacky primer at all. I find that all of my favorite eyeshadows blend beautifully on top of this one. It makes it not crease. It makes the shimmers last longer. And it is just a fantastic primer, at least if you have have dry eyelids like I do if you have oily eyelids you probably need something with a little bit more grip which we'll get into my second suggestion is this one right here this is the eyeshadow base from Natasha Denona and at first I wasn't the biggest fan of this one because I was applying a bit too much of it you need the smallest amount to get your eyeshadows to stay on your eyebrows beautifully this one has a little bit more coverage, a little bit more brightness, and also a little bit more tackiness. But again, it's not the strongest grip, but it does have a bit more tackiness to it. This makes your eyeshadow look beautiful for very long hours on the face. It makes it not crease, not fade. Just a fantastic eyeshadow base. And it's kind of like a step up from the Rare Beauty one to make your eyeshadow last longer and stay better while still being very natural, very comfortable to wear and without it making any eyeshadow grip too hard onto it because i feel like that's the issue with some primers especially if you get a primer with a lot of grip then you're going to have a little bit of trouble blending i find that whenever i use my rare beauty one or my natasha one my eyeshadows continue to blend like they usually do now if you need something with a lot of grip because you have oily eyelids which makes your eyeshadow maybe crease or disappear or transfer or whatever then the primer i would recommend is this one here this is from Too faced and it is called glitter glue if you have oily eyelids 
trust me you can just use this one on its own under your eyeshadow you don't need to like put glitters on to use it it's just an eyeshadow primer the glitter glue thing is just the name of it but this is a truly gripping primer for eyeshadow so your eyeshadows are going to stay super long on your face and it's amazing if you have oily eyelids or if you have trouble with shimmer staying on your eyelids because that grip that stickiness that it has is going to make your eyeshadows last forever on you so if you're having any of the issues i just described i have highly recommend that you get your hands on this one moving on to mascara I picked my top three favorites because I kind of have to that's the whole idea behind this video but I currently only have one obsession when it comes to mascara and that is this one right here from gift beauty the can't stop staring mascara this is a tubing mascara and this gives me the thickest longest lashes it also gives me a lot of separation to my lashes and it makes me not want to like do falsies like I just don't feel the need for falsies even if I look very glam when I have this mascara on because it truly makes my lashes look very noticeable and very beautiful in my opinion so I am loving it I've had it for probably a month and a half to two months at this point and I am still using it almost every day it is a fantastic fantastic mascara it's not the one I'm wearing because I'm testing out something that is new today but it is an amazing mascara my favorite one I've ever tried and I've tried a lot of them I highly highly recommend it now with that said I'm also sharing the mascaras that have been favorites of mine for a long time before I tried the gift mascara this one right here from Pat McGrath the Pat McGrath dark star mascara has been a favorite one of mine for a long long time I don't know if the formula of this one changed at all but I just never notice it transferring that much on me and I feel like lately it just transfers a little bit more than it did before maybe it's just because it's summertime it might just be a little bit more humid out but that's just something that I've noticed if you live in a very humid climate you might want to be careful with this one but if you are someone who like generally doesn't have trouble with mascara transferring on them then I absolutely love and recommend this one this one gives you like very wispy lashes this mascara truly makes my lashes look better than my favorite gift one but the gift one just is better at not transferring at all lasting very long and it's also very easy like take off this one is more traditional but it makes my lashes look like the look of my lashes with this one is kind of my preferred look when it comes to my lashes because it makes them look really nice and long and thick but also very wispy and I love me a wispy looking lash other mascara that I have loved for a very very long time is this one here from YSL this one also gives me long thick lashes which I like a little bit less wispy than the Pat McGrath one does and I feel like the Pat McGrath one kind of makes my lashes look a little bit more curly which I really love this one's kind of like long and straight so it just depends on your personal preference I don't find that I have a problem with this one transferring at all and I really do love the look that it gives my lashes since I'm talking about mascara and eyes I wanted to also kind of touch on falsies so for falsies my number one favorite falsies ever the ones that I've used the most that I reach for the most and that I repurchase the most is hands down my Ardell wispy lashes I'm just going to like insert a picture right here because I don't even have any right now I need to buy more because when I open my drawer I have a bunch of lashes from Ardell and his and velour and they all have like different shapes and sizes right but I just know that I can trust an Ardell Wispy it just has the perfect shape I don't have to trim the ends it's easy to use the downfall of the Ardell Wispies is that I can't get it to like look good for more than two to three wears it looks amazing day one it looks okay day two and day three maybe it looks a little questionable and then you just have to go for a new pair but I just absolutely love the shape and the size and the look that it gives my lashes the second pair of lashes I wanted to mention is for when I want some Something very very dramatic like if I'm wearing a very dramatic New Year's Eve type of black smoky eye with sparkles type of look <laughs> I just really love a dramatic lash with a look like that one and the velour lashes in sinful here's the name sinful right here 
these lashes give me all of the drama when I want the drama they look beautiful for a very long time because they are high-end lashes these do look beautiful for like a bunch more wear days but these are definitely lashes that I reach for when I want my look to be dramatic let's talk about some eyeliners and I wanted to mention this one specifically because you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of doing wings on my eyes I usually wear my makeup the way you see it today nice and smoky with lots of mascara maybe a falsy and that is it but I find that this particular eyeliner that I'm about to mention makes doing wings a lot easier for me and that is this Urban Decay 24 7 inks eyeliner I have mine in the black shade I love that they have a bunch of different colors of this one this one has a brush tip applicator it's very precise and very easy to control but I think what makes this one truly great is how good of a grip you can get on it with this mechanism that they put in here so that you can really just grab it really well and you have a lot of control over what you're doing with this one so if you're looking for a new liquid eyeliner and you haven't tried this one yet definitely give it a try I saved the rest of my eyeliner spots for pencil eyeliners because I love pencil eyeliners and there's two brands that stand out to me that I reach for all the time. If I'm going for basic eyeliner colors and I just want something that is long lasting, that is creamy, that is very pigmented, and that is going to stay in my waterline for a very long time, I love to reach for my Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. These eyeliners truly have amazing formulas to them. They are the most creamy pencil eyeliners, the most pigmented pencil eyeliners they do not fail me ever they last on my waterline forever and she does have some really beautiful more like serious type colors for her pencil eyeliners that I highly highly enjoy formula and quality wise the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners are my favorite but I also like to do fun eyeshadow looks every once in a while and I love combining my eyeshadow color to my waterline color it's one of the things when it comes to eyeshadow application that brings me the most joy combining a colorful eyeliner in my waterline to the colorful eyeshadow I'm wearing and so whenever I'm doing that the eyeliner brand that I reach for the most is definitely Glossier I just absolutely love the colors of the Glossier number one eyeliner pencils there is pastel purples in here there is this really beautiful mustardy yellow color that not only looks beautiful with yellow shades but with golds as well this mint shade right here I have used a bunch and I love it this deep forest green shade is also amazing hold on i'm swatching them all to show you i literally love them all it just depends on what look i'm going for and they even have a white eyeliner and they're all so pigmented very very creamy they last for a long time on the waterline as well and as you can see these fun colors right here i love and you've seen me use a bunch on my channel because they match so many different more colorful eyeshadow looks so highly recommend the Glossier eyeliners if you're looking for some colorful pops for your waterline. I was about to say I'm done with the eyes, let's move on to lips, but I'm lying because we still have eyeshadow palettes to go. Now I had to cheat a little bit when it came to eyeshadow palette. I couldn't just pick three eyeshadow palettes that I love and that's it. Like That's just not something I am capable of doing right now. So what I did was I picked palette formats from specific brands that are my favorites and I also not only did three of what I just described to you but I divided it into three full-size palettes and three mini palettes so I'm going to start with the mini palettes and what I mean by palette formats from specific brands is for example one of my picks is the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads when it comes to mini palettes I just love the format of these I love the quality of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows and how easy she makes these quads to use I am a big fan of them so I'm going to show you three of my favorites that I picked out this one here is the pillow talk dreams palette this one has that standard Charlotte Tilbury look that like when you open her website you see the models with like the warm smoky eyes sort of what I'm wearing today but a bit more peachy so anyways the warm smoky eyes on the models on the Charlotte Tilbury website 
that is the type of look that you can expect with this palette and I love the shimmers that this palette has I find that Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are very easy to use as well she has instructions for you in the back of the palette that you can easily follow to place the eyeshadow where she wants you to place it and the, her eyeshadows blend themselves if you have trouble blending eyeshadow try Charlotte Tilbury and all of your troubles will go away because her eyeshadows literally blend themselves Exaggerize is another one of my favorites this matte color right here just makes the palette so freaking special because it builds up and blends out so easily and so beautifully and it is such a flattering matte color and then the shimmer colors around it complement it so well and then my third favorite I wanted to show you is the Celestial Pearl when I want to wear a red or bold lipstick this is the eyeshadow palette that I want to reach for because it's nice and sparkly but it's also super freaking soft and so I know that when I wear this on my eyes my bold lip is going to be the center of attention and I love that moving on to my second format slash brand for mini palettes the Natasha Denona eyeshadow minis right here these are my top three favorites my number one favorite I've told you this a million times before this mini star palette from Natasha Denona is my absolute favorite it has the perfect matte shades and the perfect shimmer shades to make this tiny five shadow palette extremely versatile I simply love this one then I picked two more that I really love I love burgundy shades and I find that the mini love has this great burgundy matte with a great transition color and I also love these two shimmers I don't use this one as often but like these four shades are fantastic and then I have the mini Zendo palette right here it's nice it's peachy it's easy to use fantastic formula of course and the third format for my mini palette category they're not minis but they are quads so I'm considering them into the mini palette category is the Pat McGrath eyeshadow quads right here I am the biggest Pat McGrath eyeshadow formula lover I find her matte to be beautiful easy to blend super pigmented very intense but you can soften them out all at the same time and she also of course has amazing shimmers and so anyways I'm going to show you three of my favorites the one I'm wearing is one of these the one I'm wearing is this one right here this is one of my newest obsessions it's the Lux eyeshadow quad in passion I'm lying I'm lying that's not it hold on let's do this again it's the Divine Bronze Luxe Quad in Venusian Sunrise. This is the palette of my eyes right now and I absolutely love it. It has the greatest matte shades. This dark, deep, burgundy brown color is beautiful. And just look at the sparkle on that gold shade plus an amazing inner corner color. It's just a perfect quad and just an amazing formula i cannot recommend this one enough this one here i got recently and it doesn't have special shimmer shades but it is a really beautiful formula and a fantastic color story this color right here is very pigmented and very flattering and it blends beautifully and these three shimmers really complement it if you have light eyes like mine i find that these colors really make my eyes pop and so i gravitate towards them and then last but certainly not least um this one right here this is a blitz astral quad in ritualistic rose this is my favorite of the blitz astral quads from pat mcgrath this one has all special formulas and i really really love each and every single one of these take a look right there uh, these super fine luxurious looking shimmer shades this color i die so so stunning my last eyes category is the regular sized or bigger palettes my top three favorites and i did the same thing here i cheated a little bit i'm showing you my top three formats from specific brands when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i know you see this one coming a mile away so i'm going to just mention it first pat mcgrath mothership palettes if I had to pick just one, this would be the one that would have made it. I find that these palettes are so special because like I said, I love the Pat McGrath eyeshadow formula and I find that these color stories are incredible. So I brought out four of my favorites. <laughs> 
have multiple videos on my channel with each one of these so if you want to find some inspiration feel free to dig around this one here is mothership number no. three subversive and this one i find has some of the best astro blitz shade out of a lot of my favorite mothership palettes all four of these astro blitz shades down here are a dream come true i love them and of course they combine beautifully with the two matte shades that this palette has in it like i said feel free to check out my five looks one palette for example that i did with this one mothership number one is another one of my favorites and it's also a palette that kind of made me fall in love with wearing blue eyeshadow because that was never something i did before but these blue eyeshadows kind of have like a purpley duochrome to it i don't know they have something that makes them really really special oh my god i love this palette so much and it makes the blue hues of this palette be very very flattering on me and on a lot of different complexions and for a lot of different eye looks as well my other favorite thing about this palette besides the shimmers is the two matte shades i find that these cool tone matte shades are something that we need more of from pat mcgrath i feel like i'm taking too long on each palette so i think i'm going to go a little faster the five looks one palette video i did with mothership number one is to this day one of my favorites mothership number nine right here is another one of my favorites these two blitz astral shades are the sparkliest of them all i really love them and the looks that i can create with this palette are in my opinion extraordinary it's a very soft and romantic color story i love the purple shimmer in here one of my favorite pat mcgrath mothership palettes for sure i also wanted to show you mothership number 10 right here this one also has an amazing color story I'm not the biggest fan of this particular pink right here, but I love this peach shade and this brown shade and I am obsessed, obsessed with the metallic colors that this one has. In particular, this one right here, it's like a multi-chrome shade and it's so shiny and so beautiful. I created a five looks one palette with this one as well, but it's honestly not my favorite looks I've done with this palette. I feel like I've done better after having it for a while, but I do often also combine it with other shades because I find that those shimmers combined with different mattes look incredible <laughs> my next specific branded format of palettes that i wanted to talk about is of course the natasha denona midi palettes specifically i brought out some of my faves right here the glam palette i feel like has really stood the test of time when it comes to natasha in fact i feel like she brought it out at a time where warm shades were very popular and cool tone shades not as popular when this palette first came out and then i feel like it became better because i feel like there was a bit of a shift in beauty and cool tones became a bit more trendy and so this palette became even better with time if that makes sense i also love this one here the retro glam palette i love that it's colorful but soft all at the same time i feel like that makes this one really special if you're trying to step out of your comfort zone and try a palette that has some colors in it i feel like that one would be a good way to start i am dying for the fall season to get here to get a lot more use out of my Yaka palette. I'm honestly anxiously waiting to get a lot more use out of this one during the fall season because this just has the best fall vibes to it and I love that she included metallic shimmers in this one which was definitely needed because one of the things that I don't like about these midi palettes is that a lot of them have regular shimmers rather than fun sparkly shimmers but she definitely brought fun sparkly shimmers to the yoka palette anyways last but not least one of my favorite if not my favorite midi palette from natasha this one came out last year for the fall time and it is the my dream palette from natasha denona this palette is lovely and it has a perfect color story i love the burgundies i love the shimmers i love the neutral and warm shades that this one has it is a fantastic palette like i said i think this might be my favorite out of all of the midi palettes for sure last but not least we have odin's eye and their 15 pan palettes i feel like odin's eye changes their format of palettes often but i wanted to mention them because i really really love odin's eye eyeshadow formula so two examples that i'm obsessed with 
this one here this is the stone and rock palette that came out recently also very fall also we'll get more use out of this one in upcoming months i just love the formula the shimmers from Odin's Eye never disappoint. This one I've already gotten a lot of use out of and I love it. This is the Jewels and Gem. This palette has a very unique color story to it and it's very versatile. It doesn't look like it, but you can get a purple look with this one, a blue look with this one, a pink look with this one. It can go so many different ways. You can even get an olive look with this one. It's a fantastic, fantastic, versatile palette and it has incredible shimmers. Take a look. Take a look right there. So, so pretty. I hope Odin's Eyes, I guess, continues to make that format of palette because I'm a big fan of it. But honestly, I just love Odin's Eye formulas because this is a different format right here, the um, Sea Talk palette. And this has probably been one of my favorite palettes I've tried this year, period. Super versatile, the color story is amazing, and I simply love it. I can finally say that I am done with eyes and that we can move on to lips. So let's start with lip liner. You guys know I love a nude lip. So I'm going to be talking about lip product formulas, but I'm mostly going to be showing you my favorite nudes, okay? <laughs> so for lip liner, my first lip liner brand I wanted to share with you is the Anastasia lip liners. I have been obsessing over the formula of these since they came out it is such a long lasting lip liner my gloss or lipstick can wear away but eight hours after me applying this lip liner the lip liner is still going to be around my lips they have a matte finish they are pigmented and just simply beautiful so these colors right here are muted mauve the first one the second one is mocha and the third one is rosewood and i really really love all three of those colors i also love the natasha denona lip liners these have a creamier more pigmented formula to them and some of my favorite colors and they have more of like almost a satin finish rather than matte but also very long lasting also beautiful i'm going to show you some of the shades i love my favorite one being this one here this is not a mini pencil i've just literally used it this much and it is the natasha color so the one at the bottom this time is natasha the second one is kala and the third one is ilona and i just really really love all three of those colors so much they are super super flattering and they make for some of my favorite nude lip combos. Third, but definitely not least, Pat McGrath lip liners. I, as you can see, have really loved all three of these as well, especially structure. I have been saying for like six months I need to get myself another structure pencil, and I think, I think we might be there because this one just fell <laughs> from here. This has been used and abused, okay? I'm gonna try and swatch it. It's still so creamy, oh my god. Even though this happened, it's still super, super creamy. Anyways, the Pat McGrath formula, super pigmented, super creamy, super long lasting, and it does have more of a matte finish to it. We have structure right here, the first one. The second color is my newest one, which is Nude Venus. And this third one right here is the shade Prima Donna. Whenever I want a cool toned lip liner to complement a cool toned pinky type of gloss or lipstick, Prima Donna is the one that I reach for. It's also very light. I just, I really, really love this one. So here are some of my favorite lip liners. As you can see, they're all very different from one another. <laughs> and so next, I'm going to share with you my top three formulas of lipstick. And I selected a matte formula, a shiny formula, and a satin formula. Which is smart, but it honestly wasn't that planned. That was just kind of where my mind went. My favorite matte lipstick formula ever. The best, the greatest, the most pigmented, the most long-lasting, the most flattering, the most amazing are the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Majority of the ones I'm going to show you are super holiday-esque because I usually shop for Lisa Eldridge lipsticks right before the holidays for some reason and I feel daring and I feel like I want to try colors that I don't use unless it's the holidays. So you're about to see some reds, okay? I know. 
shocking. Here are the Lisa Eldritch lipsticks. This first one is Velvet Jazz, then we have Velvet Duchess, and the third one is Velvet Ribbon. They look more different in real life than they look on camera. I guess from far away they look a little bit more different. And then the nude one up here, which I also really love, is Velvet Intrigue. One thing about Lisa Aldrich lipsticks is I like to wear them on their own. Like, I'll wear them with a lip liner, but that's it. I don't like to put a gloss on them or anything. They just are perfect the way they are. And I need to expand my collection. Next time I shop for them, I'm going to promise myself right now I'm going to get more nudes because that's where I usually wear more than anything. So I need to get my hands on some more Lisa Eldridge nudes. The glowy formula of lipstick I wanted to share with you are these right here from Tarte. These are the Maracuja Juicy Lips. I have a couple of colors that I really like, but this is something else where I want to expand my collection because I love them. I feel very comfortable, especially during like the summertime, wearing these types of very glowy lipsticks on top of a lip liner. And it gives me a very similar look to what like a gloss would give me, and I just absolutely love it. Um, anyways, these are Ginger and cranberry and they just have the most special glow to them and then my satin lipsticks that i love are from pat mcgrath and they're the ones that come in this cute packaging with the bows right here my favorite ones are the ones that come in the blue containers because the ones in the blue containers i believe have cool tones to them and then the ones in the orange containers for the most part i think are a bit warmer and these are the ones that I just gravitate the most towards. So here are the swatches of my satin lipsticks. I just love how soft and thin they are. This one here is Veil Rose. And then my favorite one is this one, which is called Nude Romantique 2. Those satin allure lipsticks from Pat McGrath are very long lasting. They have a beautiful finish to them and they are just very flattering with a lot of different makeup looks and I honestly really love them. I haven't been into lipstick that much lately but like what I showed you today is truly lipsticks that I wear for specific occasions no matter what. Like even if I am fighting with lipstick at the moment because all I want to wear is lip liners with gloss, I'll still reach for these every once in a while or for specific looks. Okay, I have two more categories of lip products to go, glosses and lip oil slash lip balms. For glosses, I have three favorite gloss formulas, Pat McGrath being one of them. I just really, really love these glosses. This is the gloss that I've been wearing um, since part one of this video <laughs> and I love it. Today I'm wearing Nude Venus, which is this shade right here with i think it's the anastasia muted mauve lip liner as you can see these are glowy they are glossy they are juicy and they're very long lasting because like i said i've been filming for four to five hours at this point and i only had to reapply it once and i also drank some water earlier so they last for a very long time they're juicy they are good looking and she also has some of my favorite shades um, this one here is sunset rose which has a bit of shine to it and i love it the second one is flesh fantasia which is a beautiful nude color prima donna i reach for quite a lot especially when i want to do a pink nudie lip color this one is perfect and then the one i'm wearing today is nude venus which just looks lovely Another lip gloss formula I really love is the lip glosses from Natasha Denona, in particular the one in the shade Natasha. This one is just so pretty, it's got such a beautiful cool tone to it while still being very nude. It is such, such a good color gloss. And then I also really love Daphne right here just a fantastic gloss color as well these are super juicy and the look of them is very similar to the pat mcgrath gloss look one positive thing about these oh my god look at those colors so pretty one positive thing about these is that they feel even less glossy than pat mcgrath does and pat mcgrath is not a sticky gloss to begin with these feel more like balm like when you put them on the lips the downside to that is that it makes them not last as long as pat mcgrath but for the most part they last okay on me and i just really love how good they feel on the lips the look that they give the lips and also the beautiful colors 
my third favorite lip gloss formula I wanted to share with you is the stickiest one of them all and the stickier I can get when it comes to glosses this is like my limit here <laughs> but sticky glosses also make for very long-lasting glosses and so these have the positive of being very long-lasting I am talking about the Anastasia glosses and here are some of my favorite colors. As you can see, I have a type, okay? Don't judge me. I like my nude colors. This one is Toffee Rose, Tan Rose, All of the Roses, Sun Baked, and this one is Dusty Rose. Like I said, if it has a rose last name, it's my favorite. These are some of the juiciest glosses. I've been getting a ton of views out of them this summer. I simply love them. I think that they are incredible. And like I said, they do feel a bit more gloss-like than the Pat McGrath one and the Natasha one because they're a bit stickier, but they're also very, very long-lasting. And they're not the type of sticky that drives me crazy. There's a lot of glosses that I simply cannot use because of how sticky they are but they do feel more gloss like than Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona for reference. Last category is lip balms. I love these Mario lip balms that Sephora sells. These are incredible. I have a couple of shades that I am obsessed with. So this one here is Bear Glow and this one is Apricot Glow. I actually love them both and this looks like a gloss when you put it on the lips but they're more hydrating than glosses and they feel like what they are which is lip balms which is incredible they don't last as long as a gloss would but they keep your lips super nice and moist and they make them very very juicy looking which I love my number one favorite balm type product I'm going to talk about in today's video has to be this YSL one right here this is the YSL Candy Glaze lipstick my one that I have been using is in my purse and so this is a new one right here because YSL sent me one this has the faintest pink color to it it's like barely visible pink it almost looks clear and it is super juicy looking and it gives you just the best pout of your life while feeling super hydrating and moisturizing. Just an amazing, amazing balm type product. Like I said, out of all of the ones I'm showing you today, that one is my favorite. But then I also have these, which are liquid balms, and I love them. These are from M Cosmetics, the Everglass Lip Dews. These are like balmy type products. I have two colors. I have lullaby and enchant and they are these two down here honestly i should have gone for different colors because i can barely ever tell the difference between them they look identical to one another like one is a bit more pink and the other one is a bit more warm but they are so close in color that when i put it on i can never tell the difference but what i do love is how amazing they feel on the lips and how juicy they make the lips look as well so if you're looking for oil slash balm type products the three i just mentioned are my top three recommendations and with that we've gotten to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me because this was a lot of work and i think i'm about to lose my voice <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in any of the products I just mentioned, please check them out using the links I'm leaving you down below in the description box. Whenever you shop for my links, it helps out my channel. Also, if you're new here, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye.